Hi, I'm Barb Coons, organizer of the Fraley Festival. I want to welcome you to the 2020 virtual Fraley Festival of Traditional Music, and this is the second night. Due to the generous response from our performers, we're able to bring you a second night of vintage and recent videos that celebrate our love of traditional music during this year of the pandemic. It's tough not being together, but I am really grateful to those of you who made videos and sent them from your kitchens, living rooms, garages, and outdoor settings. It's really a joy to get to see them. To those who were not able to send a video, we understand, we really miss you, and we look forward to seeing you in 2021. To start out the Saturday night program, we have a jam session, which traditionally starts the evening concert, and I'm glad to say is the tune Red Wing from the 1989 festival. Following that, Tom Duffy will be your MC for the evening. Sit back and enjoy the music. Tom Duffy here, uh, MC for tonight's show, Saturday night at the uh, uh, Fairleigh Festival. And uh, we were, I just love those vintage tapes. I love to see those, uh, all the musicians I, I grew up with and uh, love to see each year at the Fairleigh Festival. JP, of course, and uh, Edwin Lair on the fiddle in there. I mean, there's tons of people there, but 
Jack Strickland, uh, uh, Will Keys, Flavo Miller, what a wonderful fiddle player that uh, 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 graced the, the festival with his virtuosity for many years in a row. Well, we get to, I get to introduce the bands as, just as we would on Saturday night, and it's chilly. I got my long sleeve shirts on tonight. It's chilly tonight, as it often was at the uh, Fairleigh Festival on Saturday night as the, as the um, hours moved on. But we'll move on in front of, once again, in front of the quilt, the Fairleigh Festival quilt, the 50th year this year, the 50th years of the Fraley Festival of Traditional Music. So welcome to that. Hope you were you able to see some music that you're going to love in the next uh, few minutes. We're going to move right on to the first band, the 1937 Flood. Yes, named after the, the unfortunate natural disaster in the Ohio Valley in 1937. But what a band it is. It's It has sort of lots of members that move back and forth. But here's the, the core group. In fact, the... The video that we play, the first one says 19, the, the, the floodlight, I think, floodlight. So, uh, 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 Michelle Lewis is doing the uh, vocals on here with Diana. You'll like her voice. And, uh, uh, Charlie Bowen is the sort of the, the, the center, center, uh, character of the floods. So, and then Doug Chafin on the bass. The second video, which we see, uh, Doug Chafin moves to the fiddle. And a big shout out to Doug. If you've seen the vintage tapes all as well, he was, he was on that, uh, uh, jam and he's all over the, the vintage tapes, uh, playing with just about everybody, uh, and as, as happens at the festival. So Doug Chafin and Donna, big shout out to you if you're listening or watching these tapes. Uh, my gosh, Donna's always up there on the, on the table selling the merchandise, selling the CDs and the, uh, videos and those kind of things. So let's get to it. Some music from the 1937 flood. All right, next. Let's talk to you in an hour. Bye. Just a general rock. Because my dynamite changed my 
going to be on a new CD also. We're working on a, the flood is working on a new CD. It's going to be our first all instrumental CD and we're going to call it Speechless. <laughs> we do get a charge out of ourselves. Uh, we've, we've always wanted to do it and this is one that Doug brought to us a few years ago. Um, it's about bird. to Rich Kirby coming up to the stage, but I'll, I'll note I, I made a mistake on that, uh, uh, the flood. The first one, Doug Chapin was playing the guitar, but he plays bass in the old time, the vintage video. So uh, great job, Doug Chapin. We'll move on to our next guest uh, here at the Fraley Festival. Uh, it's a, always a real pleasure to have Rich Kirby. There's, 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 Rich Kirby is probably as, as influential as any one person in, in maintaining this culture and, 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 uh, passing on this music through his work at Apple Shop, through his, uh, his work putting on his own festival called Seat Time for many an annual festival. Uh, he's championed and played with all of the greats of the, of the, uh, especially the Kentucky and the Appalachian tradition. So we're very pleased to have him here. He'll introduce his own songs and, uh, uh, uh notice his banjo style. I think he's the only one tonight who's playing, besides the vintage tape, the only one tonight who's playing in, uh, uh, a finger pick style. So, uh, oftentimes in the banjos, we sing both Friday nights, last night and tonight, uh, in the overhand style, or frailing style, it's often called. But Rich is going to play with his fingers in an old time Kentucky style of playing the banjo. Let's listen to Rich Kirby. Well, I'd like to play one that comes from old Doc Boggs. When I 
left my father's house. I was young and blind. I made a mistake and I done wrong and I'm dissatisfied. I believe I'll go back home. I believe I'll go back home. I believe I'll go back home. Acknowledge I done wrong. When I was at my father's house, the place I love so dear, where they've got plenty to eat and I'm a starving here. I believe I'll go back home. I believe I'll go back home. I believe I'll go back home. Acknowledge I done wrong. I go back to my father's house, fall down on my face, say I've been unworthy, I'll seek a servant's place. I believe I'll go back home, I believe I'll go back home, I believe I'll go back home, acknowledge I done wrong. seen him coming he met him with a smile throwed his arms all around him says this is my wandering child father said to his servant go kill a fatted calf invite all friends and relatives my son come home at last I believe I'll go back home I believe I'll go back home I believe I'll go back home Acknowledge I done wrong The banquet was in session All sorrow had passed Father's heart was filled with joy, his son come home at last. The elder brother was jealous, I believe I heard him say, gave my brother his portion, I never went away. Father said to his eldest son, You've been both good and kind Not a cap I've given thee But all I have is thine I believe I'll go back home I believe I'll go back home I believe I'll go back home Acknowledge I done wrong I believe I'll go back home Acknowledge I done wrong Well, I've got one more I'd like to sing for you. This is a song that I learned many years ago from my grandmother. Her name was Addie Graham, and she was born in 1890 in Wolf County, Kentucky. And this is a song about slavery. Now, there's a, a lot of people today talking about racial justice, and we might as well admit that there are some people in Kentucky who are pretty prejudiced. And uh, we can also see that there's a lot of people in Kentucky today that are fighting hard against that. And this is this goes back a long ways. Uh, Kentucky was a slave state, but there were Kentucky abolitionists fighting very hard against that at that time. And those folks, some of those folks had a song that got into my grandmother's family tradition. 
And they handed it down for decades, long after the end of slavery. And uh, she learned it and taught it to me. It's kind of a 19th century way of saying Black Lives Matter. We're stolen sold from Africa. Transported to America Like hogs and sheep We're marched in droves Suffer from the heat Endure the cold See how they take us from our wives Small children from their mother's sides they take us to some foreign land, make slaves to wait on gentlemen. We're almost naked, as you see, almost barefooted as we be. Suffer the lash, endure the pain, Exposed to snow, both wind and rain. O oh Lord, have mercy and look down Upon the race of the African kind. Upon our knees we pour out our grief And pray to God for some relief. Once again, I'll note that the fiddle is really the, the central uh, uh, instrument within the Appalachian music and really one of the, the core instrument here at the Fairley Festival as well. Although we branch out into many other uh, styles and instrumentation and vocalizations. But one of the, the fiddlers that uh, has been a festival favorite for many years is Jenny Allender from St. Albans, West Virginia. Jenny has a, a touch on the fiddle like no other. I think you'll see it on the on the uh, selection she's chosen the video for us tonight. Uh, and let's welcome to the stage Jenny Allender from St. Albans, West Virginia. Hi, folks. Jenny Allender here. I'm having a terrible time with my tech skills. I need the services of a third grader, but I'm fresh out of those. So um, I just apologize for this terrible quality video, but I'm going to play a couple of tunes for you. And thanks to Barb Coons for having this idea. I think it's a great one. But Lord willing, we'll all be able to visit in person next year. So I hope everyone stays well and safe in the meantime. Uh, this first tune is one called John Rice. I just learned it from the playing of Megan Lynch Chowning, whose playing is just fabulous. Um, if you don't know who she is, check her out. And then the second tune is um, a hornpipe called City of Savannah. I hope you like these.
I kind of forgot the tune there in the middle, but um, I, I think I recovered it. Ciao. Well, Fran McCoy first came to the festival as part of the, the, the band Sunset Dawn. Uh, and uh, Sherry Stanforth and, and, and a sort of an extended family and friends. Uh, and, uh, and, and Fran and Don McCoy, now they're the king and queen out the, in the jam session below the stairwell at the lodge. You ever been up there? I mentioned in last night's show, we're doing this as Friday and Saturday nights. So during the Friday night show here at the festival, I mentioned a lot of the, the action goes on at the campground or in the parking lot, lots of picking, uh, music making uh, that sometimes floats up to the stage, the stage show that we're presenting tonight. Uh, Don and Fran are often can be found out there underneath the uh, stairwell at the lodge. So we're very pleased to have them uh, here in our video, in our virtual COVID festival this year, 2020 at the Fraley Festival uh, and the wonderful duet. I just love their duet and uh, remember me and then they're going to do an instrumental on the dulcimer. Go ahead. But 
but in the end their wedding friends will break their party until then sweetheart remember me remember me when I'm gone for I'll be yearning for you each night far away I'll be Don't cry for me, but keep the love light burning. When I'm gone, sweetheart, remember me. Don't cry for me, but keep the love light burning. Anna Dean, J A J P J P's wife, her favorite song. This next song you might recognize. Jess drove into the parking lot. My gosh, we didn't think she was going to get here this year, but she did. Sherry Stanforth from up in northern Kentucky, a stalwart to the festival, really, for Sunset Dawn and Teleco as well. Man, she's her whole family is in Teleco. She's raised her kids here at Carter Cave State Park. So it's, and I'll tell you what, there's no better ambassador for Kentucky traditional music. No better ambassador at all than Sherry Stanforth. Let's let Sherry sing us a song here at the Carter Caves at the at the Fraley Festival at the Carter Cave State Park. Thanks so much. Hello, beloved friends. On behalf of Teleco Family Band, we miss all of you, but even though we're scattered to the four corners, we're certainly together in mind and spirit. Today I'll share with you an old ballad. I know there are documentations from at least the mid 1700s on Once I Had a Sweetheart. Um, it has Isles and Irish Connections. Joan Baez sang this, but so did Annie McPhee at a, an early Fraley Fest that I attended. 
I once had a sweetheart, now I have none. Once I had a sweetheart, and now I have none. He's gone and leave me. He's gone and leave me. He's gone and leave me to sorrow and mourn. Last night I lay sleeping, I dreamed I did see. Last night I lay sleeping and dreamed I did see my own precious jewel sat smiling at me. My own precious jewel sat smiling at me. When I awakened, I found it not so. Oh, when I awakened, I found it not so. My eyes like a fountain with tears overflow. My eyes like a fountain with tears overflow. I'll travel to England, to France and to Spain. I'll travel to England, to France and to Spain. Forever a wandering the watery main. Forever a wandering the watery main. Once I had a sweetheart, now I have none. Once I had a sweetheart, and now I have none. He's gone and leave me. He's gone and leave me. He's gone and leave me to sorrow and mourn. Back to the fiddle, the central instrument, the central instrument. You know, you can any any weekend, just like the Fraley Festival weekend, any weekend except perhaps in this COVID time, here in the United States, you can go to a fiddle contest or a fiddle festival that's sort of uh, underground, underneath the normal radio and TV. It happens every week here in these United States. And Betty Vornbrock is a master of many styles. And we're so pleased to have her at our festival, uh, Betty Vornbrock and Billy Cornett. Uh, Billy oftentimes does this job. He does the MC. He's a central part of our festival. We're pleased to have him virtually tonight. Uh, and uh, uh, pay attention to uh, Betty's so wonderful fiddling that she brings to the stage each year. Uh, we're also going to, after the, uh, oh, the Re Island Rounders is their, their band. Uh, they, they often play with another, uh, with a banjo player or with other players, but we get the, the core of the group tonight. And uh, we're also going to go into one of the vintage tapes after uh, Betty and Billy's uh, central tunes. We're going to go back and uh, listen to uh, Betty playing with another fiddler, uh, uh, Paul Hurling, had to look at my notes on that. Uh, Paul Hurling, I remember Paul so very well. They're doing great duets and the guitar player, you're gonna love this from the vintage tape, Bill Necessary from years back. Bill was uh, once again, a central part of the festival each year. We're so, uh, each year we, we lose some members of the festival and it's been several years since Bill's passing, but we remember him fondly. He's a, a very versatile musician and often played closed chords on the guitar in sort of the Western style. Let's listen to, Billy Cornett and Betty Bornbrock. This is a tune we learned from Melvin Wine of West Virginia. It's called Sally Will You Marry Me.
Okay, here's a tune called Maysville that we learned from JP and then one of his daddy's tunes goes way back to Maysville.
Fields of cotton smile back at me My window faces the sun Though I'm far from that swanee I'm never frowning or down in the mouth Call my window faces the sun I mentioned before several times that uh, the dulcimers have always been a large part of the festival as well. And Tish Westman usually comes up on stage, plays her dulcimer, but we're going. She's going to play banjo tonight. So let's uh, from uh, Southern West Virginia. Let's bring Tish Westman up and uh, let her sing a song with her banjo style uh, here at the Fraley Festival 2020, the COVID Festival. <laughs> Across the Great Divide by Kate Wolf. Where the river 
It's not only fiddles, though, that we present on stage and, and the Western tunes. We love that here at the Fairley Festival. Uh, the, the vocalizations, a little bit later, we'll get to hear a trio with Anna Dean singing uh, uh, Tumbling Tumbleweeds in the Western style. But right now, let's, let's have from Cincinnati, uh, Stephen Donna Bing, uh, who not only has mastered the sort of the Appalachian style of fitting, fiddling, which you'll hear, just a, a wonderful tune uh, that Steve's going to do on the fiddle, but they're also, they immerse themselves in Cajun culture from uh, South Louisiana. And uh, Steve and Donna like to bring that to the festival as well. Let's listen to Steve and Donna Bing. Hi, everybody. Steve and Donna Bing here. Happy to play for you. Here's a tune that I learned from uh, an old-time fiddle player by the name of Cecil Plum from my hometown in Maslin, Ohio. And it's called Laurel Mountain Breakdown. Stephen Donna Bing. We have our Corona beer, Corona beer, and we've got our Corona song. My Corona. Let's do Le Flamme d'Enfer for all you folks. Here we go, Flamme d'Enfer.
Have a Corona beer, folks. It's good for you. Well, what a pleasure it is to introduce my old friend, Bill Lowe, uh, who came to the festival. In fact, uh, Bill was one of the, the instrumental people to bring the corn drinkers to the Fairley Festival way back in the 1970s. Uh, Bill's no longer with us, as I mentioned before. Many people have passed. We're going to go back to the vintage tapes then. Listen to uh, Bill Lowe with his wonderful uh, uh, pre-war Martin guitar. And uh, Connie's on here. Connie Lowe as well. Connie, if you're out there in video land watching, uh, uh, I, I, I so much wish you well and uh, wish we could visit this year as we have so many in the past. Let's go back in time. Listen to Bill and Connie Lowe and uh, the old Carter family number, Jimmy Brown, the newsboy. Uh, enjoyed the day with you. Shoes up on my feet. My father was a drunkard, sir. I heard my mother say, Sell the morning papers to help her on. Cold and hungry, sir, my clothes are mighty thin. Wander about from place to place, my daily bread's to win. Sir, my name is Jimmy Brown. Everybody knows I am the news boy of the town. Well, let's go out in the parking lot this time. Let's go out in the parking lot, get those musicians out there holding forth, going to bring them up on the stage. Let's bring up Scott Rucker and Danny Arthur, uh, the mandolin guitar duet. Scott from up in Ashland, Kentucky. Uh, Danny from down in West Virginia, uh, both, uh, they mesh so well. Listen to Danny's uh, guitar playing, multi-instrumentalist himself, but he does the guitar just right for, and it's a wonderful tune that Scott's going to play for us on the, on the mandolin. Hi, this is Scott Rucker with Danny Arthur, and uh, we're missing everybody at Fraley Fest this year, but I uh, hope everybody stays safe, and we're going to play a Doc Roberts tune called Take These Lips Away.
Thanks a lot. I hope everybody's safe out there. Okay, let's uh, return to the eponymous music makers of the festival, uh, JP and Anna Dean Fraley. JP known internationally for his approach to the fiddle, uh, just a very sweet approach. We will listen to him doing a waltz that he learned from Ali Bain, a Scottish fiddler. Uh, but before that, the uh, a wonderful duet. They had such a wonderful approach to the old country songs. Uh, Anna Dean, of course, uh, uh, from girlhood on the radio, both in Kentucky and West Virginia, uh, playing these old tunes. She brought that experience and that knowledge to the stage. She, the, they had a wonderful approach, as I say, to this duet singing. Well, listen to them uh, do Molly Darling. And then JP's famous for his storytelling. He's very soft-spoken, so you might have to turn your volume up a little bit, man, man, it's worth it. It's a great story that he's going to tell us here at the festival in 2020. One called Molly Darling. but it was actually it written in 18 and 56. You're out of book. Right after the first. One of my favorite tunes for y'all. A fiddler's favorite tune is usually the one he don't play well, but this is a 16th century waltz. Uh, the Scottish waltz called Margaret's waltz. You're going to get to play tomorrow night. You're going to play the band. Yeah, I know, but I'm going to start early. I'll practice on it. And I would have said, 
since I haven't picked up a guitar in a while, I'm not here for it. At least a few weeks. about dog stories, I'll tell you this, and it's kind of funny about a fella that he's sort of windy like myself. Nobody would believe anything he said. He lied so much, I actually had to have his neighbor to call his dog for him. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but he ordered, yeah, he ordered him one of these uh, retrievers, duck dog. He's a duck hunter. And he drank a little bit of Jack Daniels or anything he could bum, you know. So the first day of duck season, he couldn't hardly wait. He had this new dog, and he he took his little old boat, got into his blind with his dog, and had him some liquor. It was pretty cold. It wasn't long till some ducks come in. And he'd had a nip or two of that Jack Daniels, but he, he was anxious to see if this dog was as good as the paper said he would be when he got him. So he shot a duck. The duck hit the water. He looked at the dog. The dog was all, man, he was all nervous. He said, fetch it, boy. He took down, you know, to the water, run across the top of the water. He thinks, what in the world's going on? He run out there, got the duck, still didn't sink. He run back across the water, back into the blind. He grabbed his liquor, he said, I ain't drunk, I, I maybe, maybe I'm drunk, but I couldn't be. I'm just seeing things. So he killed the second duck. He said, fetch it, boy, same thing. Here he went, right across the top of the water. Picked up a duck, brought it back. That's it. He got his liquor, his dog and everything, got in the car and went back home. Told his wife, said, she said, don't start. Said, there's nobody going to believe that. Well, he said, it's a fact. Said, the dog can walk on across that water. Me. She said, now listen. Said, there's no way that can happen. He said, it happens. He said, I'll prove it. She said, how are you going to do that? He said, I'll take the preacher with me. Said, he's a duck hunter. Next morning, him and the preacher's in the blind, you know, with this dude dog. And... He, he was telling him what a good dog he had. He said, what can you do? He said, I want you to see for yourself. But he wasn't about to drink from the preacher because he was anxious to find out what. 
what was going to happen when what his reaction be when he seen his dog retrieving ducks. They killed the first duck. He said, fetch it. He said, now, preacher, he said, watch that dog. Down in which he went right across the water, got the duck, brought it back. He said, what do you think of that? He said, it's a good retreat. He looked at it, he said, well, maybe he did like me. He didn't know what the dog had done. <laughs> so he killed the second dog, or the second duck. Here with the dog across the water, got the duck, back, laid it down. He said, now, preacher, he said, what do you think? Well, he said, I told you, he's a real good dog. He said, do you know anything about it? He said, yeah, he said that. He said, I don't want to hurt your feelings. He said, what's the matter? He said, the dog can't swim. <laughs> In the duet tradition, I mentioned uh, at the last night's show, we're doing this Friday and Saturday nights, the festival, the COVID festival here in 2020 at the Fraley Festival. Uh, well, I mentioned last night that Nina Dean often referred to the festival as sort of the husband and wife festival. So let's bring up a husband and wife, uh, John uh, Herod and Tona Barkley from up near Frankfurt. Uh, there's just, uh, I keep saying this perhaps, but there's, there's hardly anyone more central to the the perpetuation of, of Kentucky fiddling uh, than John Herod. Uh, he's, he's one of the most knowledgeable persons. Uh, he's, he documented everyone. Uh, and he's the only person, I was telling Barb this, Barb, Barbara Coons is behind the, the camera here. Uh, I was telling Barb that he's the only one I know who's, who's cited in a Wendell Berry essay. So John Herod, uh, I mentioned his fiddling, but he's also a great songwriter. So he and uh, Tony are going to do uh, uh, some guitar work behind the song and then a, a very appropriate song for our time and age. Uh, I, I, I can't go on without mentioning though about Tona, uh, a, a great musician and songwriter herself, but also a wonderful visual artist. If you get a chance, you might seek some of her work out. Let's welcome to the stage here at the Fraley Festival, John Herod and Tona Barkley. Howdy folks. I guess we're doing the Fraley Festival from home this year. We miss you all, but Tony and I would like to do a little song for you that I wrote called The Snows of Yesteryear.
Here's a song for the COVID. We hope you enjoy it. In these days of indigestion, it's oftentimes questioned as to what to eat and what to leave alone. For each microbe and bacillus has a different way to kill us, and in time they always claim us for their own. There are germs of every kind in any food that you can find, and they mark it all up on the bill of fare. Drinking water's just as risky as so called deadly whiskey, and it's often a mistake. Oh, some little bug is going to find you someday. Some little bug will creep behind you someday. Then he'll send for his bug friends. And all your trouble ends. Oh, some little bug is going to find you someday. The inviting green cucumber gets most everybody's number while the green corn has a system. It's own. Though the radish seems nutritious, its behavior is quite vicious, and the doctor will be coming to the door. Eating lobster cooked to plain is only thirty with tolling, while an oyster sometimes has a lot to say. But the clams we eat in chowder make the angels sing the louder, for they know that we'll be with them right away. Oh, some little bug is gonna find you someday. Some little bug will creep behind you someday. Then he'll send for his bug friends, and all your trouble ends. Oh, some little bug is gonna find you someday. All those crazy foods they mix will float across the river sticks, or they'll start us climbing up the Milky Way. And the meals we eat in courses means a hearse and two black horses. So before a meal, some people always pray. Luscious grapes be pinned beside us, and the juice leads to gastritis. So there's only death to greet us either way. And pride livers, nice but mind you, friends will soon ride slow behind you, and the papers will then have nice things to say. Oh, some little bug is gonna find you someday. Some little bug will creep behind you someday. Then he'll send for his bug friends, and all your trouble ends. Some Let's go back to the dulcimer uh, tradition here at the festival and uh, bring up Sarah Kate Morgan. Uh, Sarah, as far as I know, Sarah first came to the festival as part of the music group from Moorhead College the, when they started uh, uh, having education on the traditional arts. She was part of that program and started coming to the festival. Uh, she's since graduated and blossomed into just a wonderful Dalsmer player. You're gonna be struck by her style on uh, two Kentucky tunes. I'm sure she chose them that way. She's now uh, at the Heinemann Settlement Center down in Knott County, uh, of, of an organization which has itself uh, made its central core mission as, of supporting and uh, um, uh, conveying the traditional arts here in Kentucky. Okay, so let, let me tell you the names of those two tunes that Sarah plays. The first one's Weddington Reel, who we used to see Alfred Bailey here on the stage do many decades ago here at the Fairley Festival. And the other one, one of my favorite tunes called Waynesboro. So on the dulcimer, a couple of fiddle tunes. We call them fiddle tunes, but they're, that's where they're sort of originated. And then they, we adapt them to other instruments, whether it's a banjo or a mandolin or a dulcimer, we still call them fiddle tunes. Let's bring up to the stage, uh, Sarah Kate Morgan. Thank you. 
perhaps you've already seen in these series of tapes we're doing for the 2020 uh, Fairly Festival of Traditional Art, perhaps you saw uh, John Tierney, who we per, uh, played earlier, perhaps in this miracle of uh, digitization, you can go back and forth. If you haven't seen those, go back and look at John Tierney, the park naturalist here at Carter K State Park for many, many years, who recently passed away here in this year, 2020. We mourn his passing. But what great sort of symmetry in this this arc of uh, history as we go through uh, uh, our lives that uh, John's son Paul is now the naturalist at uh, Carter K State Park. And really, once again, one of the, the center central people that uh, uh, put this, this festival on each year, uh, once again, a naturalist, so he knows the, the Kentucky world so very well. But now he's, he's, he's for several years now been assigned uh, by the Kentucky uh, uh, Parks to Carter Caves. And the thing is, as well, it's not, Paul's also a wonderful musician, a multi-instrumentalist, uh, and he knows hundreds of musicians and can gather them as round as well. Let's listen to a, a couple here tunes from Paul Tierney.
I mentioned uh, several times in these introductions that each year we, we lose people that, that have been so important to us at the festival. Uh, this year, 2020, we lost John Tierney, a surprise and a shock to us all in the, in the, in the winter. Uh, John had, was central and instrumental to this festival. Uh, when uh, Anna Dean and JP was doing the festival at Greenbow Lake, another state park, uh, John saw the opportunity and, and lobbied them to come to Carter K State Park and at, and worked very well with both Anna Dean and JP to put the festival on for year after year after year. Uh, John, the naturalist at the park, you wanted to know anything about Carter K State Park, the flora, the fauna, the, the people that come, John was the man to go to. Uh, and he would never turn you down. No matter what your question was, what age you were, he was always very welcoming. Not only for the Fraley Festival at the park, of course, as far as traditional music go, he had several other events. He would always feature uh, uh, traditional music here at uh, Carter Cave State Park. Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Paul. I'm one of the park naturalists uh, at Carter Cave State Resort Park. And, of course, Carter Caves has had the, the great privilege of hosting the Fraley Traditional Festival for many, many years. And uh, as some of you all may or may not know, my history with the event goes back a little bit farther than just the past several years of doing the sound uh, at the event and those types of things. Of course, my father, John Tierney, uh, helped facilitate this event with JP and Andine Fraley for many, many years. Um, and even uh, along with Barb and, and Doug, helped facilitate a lot of things up to his retirement uh, in early oh, 2001 or so. But so I've, I've been part of the event for, for quite a long time in some way, shape, or form. But, but again, it's been a privilege to be able to do the sound for it the past several years, uh, being back at Carter Caves. Uh, I, was, I was someplace else for a few years. But anyway, um, I hope you guys are enjoying the event so far. I know uh, it's been really great, you know, uh, Andrew Bevan and Barb and Doug working on all kinds of different things to try to present it to you guys in this type of format. I've been going through videos as far back as 30 years, and I came across kind of a neat little piece of footage with my father and Anna Dean doing one of the songs that he's been known for for many, many years, Little Brown Shack Out Back. And, um, you know, I never had the opportunity to sing with, with both of them together. Um, and, you know, uh, it's something that I kind of had the idea to maybe attempt. So I wanted to share this with you guys. Uh, and, you know, uh, this is uh, kind of, a, kind of a, a, a touching moment for me. I mean, not having Dad with us anymore and uh, just you realize just how much this event means to you and and i just thought it might be nice to share this with you guys so i hope you guys are enjoying everything so far i know a lot of work has went into it but i wanted to do something a little bit different to share with you guys and this is for my dad so you guys hope you all enjoy town is the school it's way on top of the hill with all of these hundred stair steps going up the side of the hill and uh being going being forced to go to that school i often wondered why they did that and i was told that they were trying to achieve higher education up there at the top of that hill there's a little humor there but i don't know where it is here's about a, another serious <laughs> moment in all of film history They pass the orders in the town. They still have to tear it down. That little old shack out back, so dear to me. Tripping through the snow Out to that shack Behind my old hound dog There I'd sit me down to rest Like a snowbird on his 
dead and read the tears and roll the catalog. Oh, I come a happy too, even through the quarter moon. As my daddy's kid had done before, it was in that quiet spot daily cares could be forgot. Oh, it gave the same relief to Rachel Moore. It wasn't fancy, built it off. We had newspapers on the wall. It was air conditioned in the winter time. It was just a humble heart, but the door was never shut. And a man to get inside without dying. Well, whatever it costs nowadays, here's the grand finale. Are we ready for this? I think they are. No. <laughs> Aren't you glad I'm only up here for one song? Right? Don't let them tear that your old feeling down. Don't let them tear that crazy feeling down. Don't let them tear that your old feeling down. There's not another life in the country or the town. Don't let them From the vintage tapes, let's go back in time then to uh, 1989. Uh, the vintage tapes are, are uh, given to us by Jim and Levada Coons uh, from Chillicothe who were uh, trusting friends that came to the festival every year. And Jim made a point of videotaping long before these were digital things. It was on videotape. So we're very pleased to be able to present those tonight and uh, appreciate the Coons making those available to us. Uh, one of the the duets at the festival during those years, just, just the, the festival favorites was uh, Bodie and Jennings Morgan. And we're going to we're going to move into the fields room as we did last night's show as well, the Friday night version of this concert. Uh, so occasionally we would move into the fields room to do workshops or sometimes if in climate weather, we would move into the lodge. The fields room was in the lodge there at Carter Cave State Park. And this this tape from 1989 uh, is done without microphones, but it's worth listening to. It's a gem. It's the old Western tune, Tumbling Tumbleways, but we're going to bring into that duet of Bodie and Jennings Morgan. We're going to bring in uh, Anna Dean Fraley, and they do a trio while they're singing Jennings sort of off Karen, but the, the, the trio is just wonderful. You're going to love it. And it's going to, it's going to take us out. So thank you so much for being a part of the Fraley Festival this year. Uh, we're all uh, improvising and trying to be innovative, and we hope you've enjoyed much of the music that we've presented tonight. Thank you so much from Barbara Coons, uh, Andrew Bevan, Paul Tierney. My name's Tom Duffy. Uh, we hope to see you all next year at Carter Cave State Park at the next Fairly Festival of the Traditional Music. Uh -huh.